it's collaboration time what's going on guys it's your boy cash and we are here today to discuss look at or whatever the heck you want to call it uh what is up backing out oh, i'm pressing all the wrong buttons oh i haven't played today uh please no okay <laughs> is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon i think is the name of the anime uh, i actually really liked the anime when it first came out loved it it was well written written not written but written it was pretty good uh to see it come into this game i'm I'm gonna be honest, I'm not head over heels uh, at the moment. So let's go into this, let's talk about it, and I'm gonna explain why I'm lukewarm, but hey, maybe the details will change, reform me into a new excited person. But without further ado, let's get a rinky dinky do. Let's get into it. Now I'm going to go here on the first one, the, the actual announcement here. As you can see, is it wrong to, yeah, to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? I don't, does this, did this get like a second season? I actually have no idea. I, I like, some of those characters look familiar, but some of them don't. Like, this is the chick, she's like, I remember she was like one of the main star. Yeah, greatly admired by Belle. She's like the main chick, right? Uh, the main chick. Uh, I think that's in there and boom we're going straight into it baby just there's no holding bar because I honestly need to be excited about something or else you know there's no purpose here so focus fire means she's like a ranger kind of thing going on or whatever uh, focus fire in the mana whatever beautiful sword princess deals 200% additional piercing damage to all enemies of the same role that are afflicted with charm when a skill hits a charmed target so that's obviously going to be synergizing with Janai. Uh, so we are getting so now it's kind of curious it makes you wonder are they going to constantly do this like each collab is going to have like uh, i guess like a, a, attached to a general which I, I do think that that's how it should work if you think about how exos works this makes sense it should they should be attached to a general and things like that i do think that you know piercing damage is kind of hard to track like as far as like how effective it is but it will be something interesting to test out when it goes live it should go live later tonight uh usually that's how it goes uh but i will be at work unfortunately i get to return to work that's a whole different story i gotta tell you guys about uh so there's a story time coming up it should be a video called i'm exposed uh i don't know when i'll be able to do that video but it's going to be a very de detailed video about uh i had i could not go to work for a bit uh, it was actually reasons why the videos were staggered these last couple of days. It's going to explain a lot and uh, you guys get the first hearing of it. And I'll, I'll also mention it in the Monster Hunter videos as well. So also we have this, looks like it's a little cut off, uh, but it looks like she gives herself, grants herself aerial and attacks. Uh, what? Uh, what? 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 If aerial mark is applied to self, removes the mark. I, I, where is aerial at? This move gives it to her, right? Uh, and grants herself aerial and attacks the enemy. It hits everybody uh the grant aerial mark that increases her own dodge by 30 to herself makes it harder to hit her cool then you have lil rafagi and uh of course we have deals uh it's a single target hit not a burst skill though uh if the aerial mark is applied to itself removes the mark and deals an additional 300 percent additional damage to the enemy so it looks like she's a you know all about dps she has nothing to deal with actually disrupting anybody He's just about you know dealing damage so now uh, again as we've said with the other collaboration and i'm which is why i'm looking at this with a little side eye is what did they learn so the the last collaboration had a core raid right and that was kind of the story of the game right they did tie it into exos which is nice so i'm really hoping that you know maybe that this also has a really cool eye into the game but then again i'll, I'll be honest here i'm not going to sit here and pretend like i'm really interested into the story anymore but I'm really hoping that at least for the very, you know, for the at least that there's something that ties us in. I, I don't think that just adding characters in the game blindly, like not not blindly, obviously, but like just just throwing them in is always great. You know, like because, you know, we know about the FC system and the signature force system. Like, yes, this person is going to be part of a Star Wars Republic, but, you know, it needs to go deeper than that. You know, obviously, like they need to be you need it in the FC skin. As we have already stated, I do think that a, a, a grand, a wonderful, wonderful suggestion by a, a commenter is that these characters should be like this and then an FC skin or them should just be them glowing or possibly if they do have alternate costumes maybe put them in their regular uh, a regular costume that they had in the show or the game when they do that and then this is like their battle form and that's the fc skin you need an fc to be competitive in the game to really 
withstand yourself. You can do core sharing, but core sharing only, for, for what I know, only attributes to one unit. So you can't do it for multiple of them. I do think that like just having them out like this is cool and all. They'll do damage. You know, if they're part of a signature force, they'll have the ignore defense, but it just leaves a lot to be desired. Next up, we have Ryu Lion, who's uh, got the mage thing going on. Hit all enemies, no uh, unique passive here. And it's gonna hit all the people here and only be used one times per battle. Frozo's magic sword. So it's a big AOE four mana burst and it can only be used once per battle. Looking at the base damage, it is a lot of base damage, right? And it is mana utilization, right? And it is burst, right? Theoretically, this skill would hit like a truck, but the problem that having a skill that you can only use once and the fact that block exists and so does dodge, I, you know, it just kind of, especially like, you know, Tai is pretty meta, right? You know, it just kind of would say like, you know, use your, one of your skills and why would you use a unit that it can only use their strongest skill once, no matter how strong it is, you know? So obviously you're going to want to ramp up the hit on the bad girl, you know, to make sure, I think this is a girl, right? I'm actually not exactly sure. I don't remember this character. Yeah, it is a girl. All right. So, I mean. And oh, another thing, I'm definitely interested to see the uh, animations. That's probably why uh, Namiris didn't get any animations. <laughs> and collaboration character Bell is not uh, unable to be obtained limited recruit number one. So it looks like these two are the only two characters that are coming out, it looks like. These two, and then maybe Bell is part of something else. So as you can see, uh, these two are the kind of like the main character. This is the main lead male. And then like, this is his like, like pretty much his sidekick. Like is like uh you know I don't know tutorial tutorial fairy, <laughs> it kind of helps them out. But these two are the ones coming out, so they are doing a core raid. So they're doing back to back core raids. Interesting, but I, I you know what else would they do? I couldn't fathom them detailing a story any other way besides using core raid. It's their only function of actually telling a story into the into the universe of Exos Heroes. I'm clicking everything. So I think that that's pretty much all they have. Leave a welcome message to friends. I'm not doing that. Uh, some more premium recruits. And I think that's about it. So we're getting those two characters for now. And then they're going to, I, I'm assuming, then open up another one that's going to give you the main character, probably these two. So it'll be four units in comparison to the other, the last one with uh, Tales of Vesperia, which was three characters, right? What do I overall think about this? I think it's obviously good. It's It's great. To the game especially if this anime has like another season i don't know if it had another season i think it did i know it had like a what is it the ova but as far as excitement goes like again it's just like another character they don't they're not fcs uh you can only invest so much into them i'm assuming that they're both astoris republic but as i was surprised when i did estelle's review is that she's actually not um she wasn't in under command she wasn't wasted red like her other two homeboys were she was actually under a Soros republic so you know i'm interested to see you know if they're going to keep mixing it up like that but i do think that they still need to when they're adding characters into the game they still need to make sure that they are fully fledged to be usable in the game i know that a lot of people think that these games are just for pure collection purposes but even if they're just for pure collection purposes for a person like me and for many others without the ability to use the character when you see stuff like that it's like yes if i play that anime if i play the anime if i play that game or if i watch that anime i'm excited but for a lot of other people that you know because it's easy to miss that mark you want to still give them the reason well i don't care what that character comes from that character is useful uh so right now the chick the, the main chick the eye and eyes got chick uh she's she's just she looks like damage and as such Republic does, and I'm not gonna lie, like they don't struggle with damage outside of Jinai. Uh, Jin is a decent unit and Jin actually packs silences and stuff like that. Uh, she just packs, it looks like she just packs more damage with the additional ability to dodge. Is that enough, ladies and gentlemen? Is that enough to convince people to spend their Zez on this? Even though, as we can see this, I think if we go back and look at it for, you know, just, 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 I think it shows that this is gonna be pretty much running for the entirety of the month. This is going to be from the 8th starting tomorrow all the way into the 21st of April. The core raid's gonna be there for a while. They're gonna, you're gonna be summoning for these characters. And then what else do you do after that if the characters aren't usable? That's why the, you need them to have longevity. I, I, I summon because it's just decent content, you know? But that's really about it. I, ca I can't say that I'm 
Like, oh my god! Uh, I, like I said, and this is an anime that I like. This would have been the same response if it was like, Climb My Heroes Academia or something like that, like, or, you know, Attack on Titans or something, you know, that people might be more familiar with. But for me, it's just like, I don't know. I just, there's not much I can do with the characters anyway. So I am excited to see that. I think for the health of the game, it's good. I do think that it's not great for the long run, but not that many things are, if we're being honest here. There's not many things that are great for the long run. Oh yeah, and I forgot, this is a quantum raid, not a core raid, sorry. Let me correct myself. I'm sure that there's one person that probably already lit me up about that. Uh, but yes, it's a quantum raid, not a core raid. But of course, that's MFO. YFO's in the comment section below. What do you guys feel about the collaboration? This is their second go at it, but it looks like it's going to be exactly the same. It looks like it's going to be a character's dropping, no FCs involved, a core raid to tie them together and to give you guys something to grind on for you know a few weeks to go out and then there probably won't be anything uh, story, actually story related. Probably once the collab ends, then they'll probably add a little bit more to the story. Also, there's no mention here about the, you know, the Force Nations changing signature Force Nations and stuff like that. So I think that they're going to be delaying that even a little bit further, which makes sense is because that's what they've been, you know, that's what they do. They just, they extend stuff as long as they humanly possibly can. Keep the longevity of the game up to keep you guys playing. And if you even reference FG3000's uh, shutdown videos when he would show a, a, a a gacha game that's getting shut down you would still see that these games regardless of how dead people say that they are they're still active players playing that game so i do think that a lot of this stuff as they mentioned as they said in their other in the director's note that uh this some of the stuff has been planned already they have plans already already up to december you know so this is part of the course it's not something that they randomly did to in an emergency to to help you know boost numbers this is something that they have planned at the end of the day of course as soon as i can uh, I'll, I'll definitely be summoning for them because i i don't foreseeable see what else to use my zest for besides just for collection purposes and yeah I, and then uh, the reviews that's it outside of that we'll still be playing monster hunter and uh any other new game that pops and piques my interest but that's mfo and now you know let me know how you feel in the comment section below and just remember that every day the cash you know it's your lucky day and i'll see you guys in the next video peace